today I will be making clam linguine in tomato basil white wine sauce. I know I'm not Italian but I will be making an Italian dish and that is pasta and I'm using all the ingredients here that's required for clam linguine but I'm adjusting the seasoning here and there and adding a few ingredients to make it my creation and I will consider this dish an Italian fusion. And sometimes when you add different types of ethnic food together, like Italian and Asian, it just makes a whole new dish and it just makes the dish taste that much more phenomenal. So enough talking, let's get into the ingredients. So over here I have my ingredients for my clam linguine. I have my two pounds of clams already cleaned here. What I did was I soaked them into cold water for about an hour and I cleaned them a few times so that all the dirt can fall off the shell. And now it's all clean and rinsed here. Over here I have my pasta package. This is linguine pasta, spinach and chives. You can use different types of linguine pasta like the yellow one, but I got this at Trader Joe's for about $1.99. Over here I have my cherry tomatoes. I have here about two cups. We're gonna need some garlic, some fresh basil leaves, parsley, some butter, some diced tomatoes, white wine, our chicken broth for seasoning, some basil flakes. If you don't have this, it's fine and our olive oil. So the first thing we're gonna do is prep our tomatoes and chop up some garlic so that we can make our sauce to steam our clams. So over here I have my linguine pasta and the package says to cook it for about two to four minutes. I'm just going to cook it for about one and a half to two minutes because we want the noodles to still be hard because we're gonna be cooking it some more in our sauce later on when we have it ready. So I'm going to pick out my basil here. So after I have all my ingredients prepped and cut, over here I have my pasta I have taken out of the hot boiling pot. And you don't want to rinse the pasta as a real Italian chef would say. You just leave the pasta as it is when you take it out of the pot. So next we're going to head over and make our sauce to steam our clams. So over here I have two pans. This pan I'm going to use it to make my sauce to steam my clams. And over here I have my pan. I'm going to roast my tomatoes. So we're gonna wait till the this pan gets a little bit hot. So after the pan's hot, I'm going to add in my olive oil. And after I'm going to add in my garlic, I add in half only. I'm gonna save the other half. You want to roast the garlic. I'm going to lower the heat a little bit. I want to roast the garlic until it gets a little bit golden. So after semi golden, I'm going to add in my basil and parsley here. I only add in half of the portion I cut earlier. I'm going to add in my white wine sauce. I'm going to add in about half a cup. Lower the heat. Then 
Next, I'm going to add in my one tablespoon of chicken seasoning. Mix all of that up. Add in a little bit more. Another half a cup. And I'm going to add in half a can of my tomato. cooking and boiling, I'm going to add in my clams here. And I have it on high heat right now. I'm going to stir a little bit. So after I add my clams in, I'm going to stir for about 30 seconds to a minute. And I'm going to close my lid so that my clams can steam and the shell should open up. Now I'm going to close my lid. So after our clams are steaming here, we're going to head over to saute our tomatoes. So over here I have my pan. So I'm using about one to two tablespoon of butter. So while that's getting hot, I'm going to add the rest of my garlic in. It will get hot in a bit with the garlic. So while that's cooking, we're going to stir everything up so that the garlic can cook with the butter. And now I'm going to add in my cherry tomatoes. We're going to cook it on high heat. So after about 4 minutes, um, our clams should be done. And uh, some of the shells should open up, as you can see. I'm going to add in the rest of my parsley and basil here on my tomato. saute here until it gets golden brown. I'm going to overcook the, the clam. So we can turn off our heat since all the clams are opening up. And over here, I'm going to add in the rest of my diced tomato here. I like to use a mixture of cherry tomatoes and the canned tomatoes so that you can taste the freshness of the tomatoes. I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of butter here. Mix everything up. Add in about half a tablespoon of chicken seasoning. So 
So after I finish making our tomato sauce here, we're going to add it into our clam. our pasta. Mix everything up. Now we can just add in our basil here. Wasn't this recipe easy to make? You can make this dish in less than 30 minutes with all the ingredients that are online in this video. So if you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed already, click the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye!